Ozzy Griffin, and this is going to be a really different um, video for me. A friend of mine recently uh, recently got me to uh, watch a whole bunch of Doctor Who episodes, and I realised what it was that was so compelling about the character to me. I'm not a Whovian by any standards, however, I understand the writer's mindset. I'm going to talk about two sides of the same coin here. Fear and hope. The Doctor is afraid when he sees history starting to repeat itself. He's angry, he's upset. When he thinks the Daleks are coming back again at any stage, he'll throw almost everything he has uh, up to, I think it was the end of Season 4? Yes. The end of Season 4, where... Uh, technically a half-human version of him commits genocide to try and wipe out the last of the Daleks. He basically will throw everything he can not to see history do the same exact, almost precisely the exact thing it's already done. That's when he's afraid. Yet this unique and wonderful and very amusing character is at his best, even when in danger, when he sees the new, the unexplored, the phenomenal, the the stuff that he didn't know about or that he'd never experienced before. He loved it. And basically when it came to understanding this character, I realized something very, very big about human society as it currently is. We are taught to fear things that we don't know. <clears throat> if we don't know... <clears throat> excuse me. If we don't know the answers to a test in school, we wet our pants with fear. When we don't know uh, how to handle a situation and a lot of times we run away. I've seen people who will tell me endlessly that if we had the technology similar to the TARDIS to traverse time and space at the same time to go anywhere and anywhere, people would abuse it. And some people would. Let's just be honest here. Some people would. I have dealt with people uh, someone who had narcissistic personality disorder on a very, very close uh, scale for a an extended period of time. And trust me, these people would eventually project their insecurities onto everything and everyone because they refuse to look at themselves. The upside is, these people are only 8, maybe 10% at most of the human population. At most. And these people, really, could be easily counted by the majority of the populace having a positive can-do attitude to 90% uh, of the population, minimum, looking at the world with wonder and awe and trying to figure out things and exploring stuff without wanting to hold other people back. Not being afraid of saying, I don't know what the heck this is, however I'm going to find out. That world can be ours. And I can characterize it for you really simply. You'll know when you're there. When you get up in the morning, or whenever you wake up, and when in your first moments of consciousness, your emotional state is solid. There is nothing dogging you. You don't feel regret. You don't say, God, not another day of this. Not again. No. You walk forward with hope and vitality. That's what I've learned from Doctor Who. It's not about not facing the impossible. You'll face the impossible. It's not about uh, not dealing with stuff that you don't understand at all. 
That happens every day, believe it or not. It's a lot of people filter that stuff out. You'll see what you mean as you go on. What I've really found the most inspiring about this series was the fact that it showed us that with reason, logic, and our ability to control our own self for the good of ourselves, which is really for the good of others, if done wholesomely. I'm not talking about screwing other people over to make yourself feel better. I'm talking about being better as a version of yourself for other people to deal with that better version of yourself. If every, if 90% of the human population did that, the saying, we're not so much afraid of being powerless in a dangerous universe, we are afraid of being powerless beyond measure, it takes on a whole new meaning. And all we have to do, all that we have to do, when people are growing up, when children are becoming adults, the many years it takes, is just tell them how to reason things now. And with a little perspective, those children grow up to know their strengths and weaknesses, to be able to cover and address them, and be more fully formed, healthier human beings. That's what the Doctor Who that's what the Doctor Who episodes I've seen have taught me about fear itself. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I really hope this has been elucidating for everyone else.